taking it down to sashimi. Mackerel is an extremely fatty fish and it goes off very fast. So it's important to know what to look for when you buy a mackerel. All right, so the first thing you want to do when buying a fresh fish is you want to look at the eyes. You want to see a nice dark deep black pupil right there and you want it to be a little bit plump. So you just look at the side, it's got to pop out a little bit from the fish. You don't want it to be retracting into the body much. Then you want to look for a nice glossy shiny skin, not dull and faded. Then you just want to press the fish. If the skin bounces back up, that's a great sign. If it stays with a the fingerprint, then don't buy it. Next, you just want to take a smell of the fish. So just don't be shy. Just And if it smells like sea breeze, that's great. If it smells fishy, drop it, go to the next one, look for some other fish. There's no point buying it if it smells fishy. The last thing you want to check is the gills of the fish. You just lift it up and you want to see nice bright red gills. You don't want it to be a faded, brown brick color, that's a bad idea. The more bright red it is, the fresher the fish is, regardless of what type of fish it is. Preparing your mackerel. First thing you wanna do is just lift up the little wing and you wanna do a slice until you feel the spine. When you feel the spine, you just click through. Okay, there we go. Now you just slice down and then on the other side, lift up the wing and just cut through to unite the two cuts. Okay, perfect. Now you just slice down again. And now what you do is a very quick cut just to finish that off there. Okay, so just slice through the fish. Now the head is basically separated at this point. And now you take your tip of the knife. Don't cut into the intestines. You wanna just drag it through and open the inside you don't want to let any of the bile or anything else so i've not damaged any of the intestines doing that cut and it's ready to go now all you do is just separate the head off and in one move now you can take the intestines out with the head look at that that's the cleanest way to do it you have all the intestines you have nothing left here now you just clean this with some water a running tap and you throw the head away with the intestines. All right, so now what I've done is just washed out all the blood and whatever was left over underneath the tap. And now what you do is just put your knife here and just glide it above, pressing down. Okay? And you just release. And you just feel the bones. You don't have to go deep. This is a very shallow cut. Then you turn it around. Where this little fin is, you want to be just on top of the fin and you just want to cut in and then just press down with the blade. And what you're going up against is a spine. You just want to keep it above the spine and you want to take as much flesh off the spine as possible. So you have little spines here. Now just make another cut. So you get to the bones that run up and you just want to feel them ticking across the tip of your blade. Okay, beautiful. So I didn't cut them, I was just pressing it up so that it's completely loose. Now that you've loosened up the top part, you just simply cut the tail and just hold down your fish while you just slice through those bones. There we go, and that separates your fillet. And there's nearly no flesh left here on here. You wanna have the minimum wastage and you wanna have the most amount of flesh on your fillets. Because mackerel is a small fish and sashimi needs a lot of fish, so. Okay, so now you turn your fish around, put your fillet on the side, and now you do the same as you did with the belly, but now on the other side. So you just wanna, at the same point, you cut just above, pressing down, and then just lift up the flesh to see where you're cutting. Perfect, a little cut that way. Okay, and now you simply press down again.
and you just glide the knife through. It's very important to have a sharp knife. Now a lot of fishmongers use flexible knives, but it's not strictly necessary. Okay, so just feel through. Okay, and once you've separated all the flesh from the spine, and you can feel the little bones with the tip of your blade as you run through, it's just like click, 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 click. Now, you just take it from the back, and you just glide through until you feel resistance, and you just cut them through. There we go. Beautiful. And that's two fillets, and completely stripped down spine, so there's nearly no wastage of fish here. To remove the rib cage, here there's ribs, and you just have to put your knife in between the ribs and the flesh, and you cut through, and you push up. Now, the ribs should protect you from your knife blade. And you want to cut the least amount of flesh off and just the ribs. So as thin as possible, and then the last bit here, a bit unedible, cut that off. So we have no flesh being taken off nearly. It's very thin and just has the ribs. Okay, now do that to the other one. To remove the bones, you simply just take some nail clippers and you just pull them out. Okay. Now it's very important to do the least amount of damage and you want to do it in a continuous line so just start at one end and if you're not sure where they are you just feel with your finger and you should be able to feel them it's quite a lot in mackerel they get smaller as you go down but you really don't want to leave one in when you make sashimi because trust me people will not be happy about that you want to make sure you get the right angle and just damage the flesh as least as possible you grab onto the outer layer of skin and you just pull it off with confidence. Okay, beautiful. There we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is before I make the sashimi, I'm gonna marinate the fish and the first process of it is just to add some salt over the fish, just to cure it quickly. Okay, so just leave that like that for 30 minutes, put a cloth over it. So right now the mackerel is being cured for about half an hour to an hour and then I rinsed it on some cold water and patted it dry. Now what you wanna do is mix half a liter of rice wine vinegar. That's about 16 fluid ounces. And you add about two tablespoons of mirini. It's one and two. Then three tablespoons of sugar. And then two teaspoons of salt. And this will make up your marinade. Okay, beautiful. All right, so now you just mix that until the sugar dissolves, and then you chuck your mackerel inside. Just throw it in there. And now you just leave it to marinate. Welcome back, it's been about 24 hours. I've left the mackerel in the fridge overnight to soak up the mixture and let the vinegar cook the fish slightly so it gets a different texture. And it's got a nice sweet and salty taste from the marinade. And that basically explains why I've got different clothes on because it's been 24 hours. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sashimi out of the mackerel. So we're just gonna start by taking a piece of mackerel. You just take your sharp knife and you put your hand against it. You just drag through, like so. Okay, beautiful. So, just need a couple cuts. And just, you put your palm of your fingers up against this and just make sure that you have a very sharp knife and that you drag through in a single swooping movement. Key here is a very sharp knife. If you need to know how to sharpen your knife, I've made a video and a link has just appeared on the top left corner. 
and that will teach you how to sharpen your knife properly. Okay, now to plate your sashimi. Just simply take your knife and slide underneath your pre-cut sashimi and place it onto the plate. And I like to have one set of sashimi facing one way and the other facing the other way. It gives a bit of diversity to the plate. So this one's upside down and that one's shiny side up. Then you add a little bit of cucumber garnish. You can learn how to make this by clicking on the link which just appeared on the top left corner. And then you add some cucumber fans. There we go, beautiful. Okay, and now you add a little bit of pickled ginger and a little piece of wasabi. Perfect. And don't forget your soy sauce to dip and some chopsticks. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so that concludes how to make this beautiful plate of macro sashimi. Now, if you enjoyed watching this, maybe you might want to share it with your friends because after all, they are your friends and they'll enjoy the same sort of things that you do. So just share it on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, whatever you want. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should do so right now. A button has appeared on the top left corner, which will like subscribe and you'll be updated whenever I make new videos, which is about once a week on Wednesdays normally, but sometimes a bit earlier, sometimes a bit later, it depends, you know, give and take. And if you want to see more videos right now, then just a link is appeared on the right, which will take to all my other videos and you can learn how to make lots of different types of sushi. Okay, thank you for watching.